Hi, welcome to our Octavian channel. I'm Paul and I am telling you a short story about the 1967 Shelby GT500 Illinois. Stay with us, be informed. What is an Eleanor Mustang? Hollywood have been producing iconic movie cars for decades by radically modifying what we drive on the daily. Well, in the late 1990s, the concept for what will be the most copied and reproduced movie character ever created. There are many pieces that go into making your Mustang into an Illinois. Most of the parts and fabrication are minor, but there are a few modifications that will change your fastback forever. After you've done all this work, you might have to legally give your car up. Yes, due to possible trademark infringement, you might not own your Mustang after you've transformed it. What is an Illinois Mustang? An Illinois Mustang is a modified 1967 Mustang Shelby GT500 in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds as the primary target in a plot to steal 50 cars. The creators used a 1967 Mustang fastback as the foundation to customize the body and interior touches to achieve the iconic Illinois movie car. The specs for the Mustang Illinois. The creation of Illinois is a combination of a popular classic Mustang with the use of regional performance parts from the era and the talent of two designers. Who designed the Illinois Mustang? The Illinois concept of a modified 1967 Mustang Shelby GT500 was first illustrated by Steve Stanford. Famous car builder Chip Foos elaborated on the original drawings to create clay models that would be used in the production of 11 original Illinois Mustangs built by Cinema Vehicle Services. Who owns the Mustang Eleanor trademark? Tanis Haliki is the sole owner of the copyright and trademark that protects her rights to the design and name use of the Mustang Eleanor under the company Eleanor Licensing LLC. Tanis became the owner when her late husband H.B. Toby Haliki died in 1989. H.B. Haliki was Hollywood director, actor and stuntman in the 1970s who directed the original Gone in 60 Seconds movie from 1974. While filming Gone in 60 Seconds second movie in 1984, H.B. Haliki was fatally injured in the car stand gone wrong. Due to the accident, the sequel was left unfinished. How much is an Illinois Mustang? A true original Mustang Illinois was last sold in 2013 for $1 million. It is estimated that if one of the three full operational hero Illinois were to be offered today, it will sell closer to $2 million. A licensed Illinois replica can be purchased for $180,000 to $300,000. Can building an Illinois Mustang legal issues? Yes. Thankfully, you have every right to modify your Mustang fastback with the same parts as seen in the movie. However, you cannot buy the Illinois parts, build a clone, base the Mustang as an Illinois with the intent to profit from your work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to stay up to date with our channel news.